This is Justin Case of American Newscape joining our friend and book wrangler Sarah Wisdom bringing you Yuma County Library Happenings. Hello Sarah, welcome back to American Newscape. Thank you, it's always a pleasure talking with you. Well, it's always a pleasure to have you talking at us. All right, Sarah, now what's happening at our libraries? Well, I wanted to let people know about kind of a, a different angle on our summer reading program. Uh, if you've been uh, tuning in this summer, you know the theme is Tales and Tales. And so we've kind of been focusing on puppy dog tales and kitten tales and our collaboration with the Humane Society. But there's another kind of tale that we haven't talked about yet. And that is the kind that's attached to creepy crawly critters that sometimes you would probably call pest control to take care of. But we know they have a part to play in the overall ecosystem, right? So we're really glad to have the chance to talk to Dr. Emily Durkin, who studies orth arthropods. I had to look up that word. It's segmented insects like spiders, centipedes, and like I said, usually stuff you'd call pest control for. But we're glad that somebody takes the time to show them some love and study them and tell us more about their importance in the world. So if you have any questions that you would like to ask Dr. Durkin, and it could be anything animal related to what's it like to be a scientist, we ask you to email your questions to teen at yumalibrary.org and we will pass those questions on and then we'll actually publish an interview with Dr. Durkin on our Facebook page in July and hopefully she can answer your question. Well, you know, do spiders have tails, Sarah? I don't know that they do. That'd be a good question to ask Dr. Durkin. <laughs> I will send that to teen. All right, very good. Okay. What else do we have? Well, uh, along the same lines, talking about science, I thought it was another great opportunity to talk about our citizen science kits. And I have one here to show you today. If you come to the library for a science kit, this is what you're going to get. Wow. So each kit comes in a plastic backpack and it has an activity guide and um, a few items. This is the studying biodiversity kit. It has a lens for your smartphone so when you are out taking a hike or a walk or maybe just playing in the backyard and you spot an animal or an insect or a plant that you'd like to take a picture of this kit allows you to do that and then share what you found with scientists that are studying biodiversity here in Arizona. So you really are a citizen scientist. Your finding, findings are going to be shared with scientists who are researching those topics here in Arizona. Wow, and and uh, that is very, very cool. Yeah, and it's is, really is there, cool. Is there an age restriction on this? or? Uh, not so much a restriction. Um, the ideal age group, I guess, is 8 to 13, but each kit offers uh, different activities at an sort of an easy, medium, and advanced kind of scale. And we're really thinking that it's something that the whole family might like to do together. So we, we try to incorporate all ages. How fun is that? Okay, Sarah, what else? Well, just a reminder that summer reading is still going on. Uh, you have until July 10th to sign up and participate. Each age group has different benchmarks to meet. Uh, this year we're doing it by the minutes that you read. So as you read, you can log your uh, minutes into the Read Squared app. And uh, as you reach those benchmarks, you'll earn badges and it'll unlock games and let you complete missions. So it's sort of a different way to have an interactive summer reading program. We, we are looking forward to getting back to our in-person programming in July, but for now, we've, we've got to make that virtual stuff work. All righty. Well, Sarah, thank you. This has been Justin Case with the one, the only, book wrangler, Sarah Wisdom, bringing you Yuma County Library Happenings. Thanks for joining us. Remember, additional information and links are provided in this video's Read More. Get your citizen science kit while you're thinking about it. Today's the day to subscribe to this channel and please support book wranglers, libraries, and librarians everywhere.